of the YouTube video. So today's video is actually going to be a farm vlog. So it's just about nine o'clock now. So let's go and put all the pictures up. <laughs> Very muddy, but here's his treat as well. Yeah, so there's Jack and Beauty just going into the field. For some reason, they stopped halfway through. I think they want to go into that field, but they're not allowed to because that's another pony's field. But the grass is longer, so they want to. So yeah. Oh, there's the other little ponies, but. Here is Oreo. She don't know me yet, but we're hoping that she does soon. But yeah, she's so cute. Up some hay over for Oreo because she didn't have any and she's been a greedy pig and ate it all in the night. So she just gets a little bit on the floor. It's not that big, it's just all spread out. But anyway, yeah. I'm just walking down to Jack. I'm sorry if there's some noise. There's some geese and I'm making noise. But yeah, um, anyway. So Jack's rug has slipped a bit because we took off the leg straps. So yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Shush geese! Geese are so annoying. Anyway, they, look, they went to stop at their neck with the But yeah, so. I walk to the field, they might follow me, you know. I'm not putting Oreo out is because she has bad mud fever so I need to sort that out so she's not been going out but Jack and Beauty they love it so they've been going out every day so yeah and Jack's walking very slowly so I've just grabbed Oreo out her stable and taken off her rug. So I have just tied Oreo up and uh, but I nearly forgot I need to put um, my friend's little pony out. So we're just gonna do that quickly and then we can go on and get fucking out but I thought I'd just do a quick time lapse of it. So I'm just sort of grab my friend's little pony out and put him out in the field. I do put him out most days so I thought I'd add it in anyway because I sort of put him out. So then I'm just mucking it out and I'm not the best mucker outer in the world guys but I try my hardest and I think it turned out alright. So I just make sure I get all the little poos out and then in a minute you would see me like sweep back the shavings that was on the outside and then make all the bed nice, make all the banks and then sweep out all the dirty bit and then sweep it all back and then I will sweep outside my stable. So Oreo is just in and she has so much shine on her, it's crazy. She's got hay, I wet it down so it's a bit pushed down and she has got some water. And that's it, yeah, she's all done. So here's me mucking out Jack. I did do beauty, but I didn't think I would show it to you guys. So here's just me organising the clean from the dirty and putting the dirty in the wheelbarrow and putting the clean all up. And yeah, 
and uh, he's just making sure that I got all the poo and the dirty out and getting all in between the rubber matting and just making sure I got every bit of dirt out because I don't like my horse being in dirty stable so then I just sweep the bed and put all of that in the wheelbarrow and then I just grab some new straw because today was his new straw day I was about to say shavings so then here's he him having a nice bed and here's me sweeping out all the dirty so I've just done Jack's bed and I have done beauty but I didn't want to film it because I just want the whole video of me mucking out so yeah this is actually Jack's bed this straw is the new straw and that straw is the old straw yeah I think it looks nice bed <laughs> So here's just me making Jack's day hay net for the day and here's just me putting up beauties they do get a night hay net guys don't you worry but in a minute I do tie the string like through the hole just because there's a hole in other I should eat it like a greedy pig so I just do it so she takes longer so she has hay for a long period of time So here's just me doing Beauty's water and I thought it'd be quite cool to do some time lapse with it. So yeah, here's some time lapse of me doing the water for you guys. So I have just finished mucking out. So I thought I'd give my shed a little tidy because it is a bit messy. Well, it's not too messy, but I thought I'd do it before it gets too messy. Then I can make my feeds. So then I'm done. I think I definitely have too many treats. I have this full of your treats and this and there's some in here. And I have all of these treats. I definitely have too many. And then I am just organising where all my bridles go and then I'm just sweeping the floor to make it look nicer. So yeah. So I've just sorted the table and where the bridles. And I don't know if you can see. This is quite organised, but Oreos at the bottom have actually a saddle pad over it because the saddle cover is around my Oreos. And that so we just have that under so the cats don't scratch it but we did a grab that later when i go around there because i need to add all you a bit later so yeah so here i am just making my feeds and if you want to know what i feed my horses then i do actually have that video on my channel so go and watch it if you want but yeah i'm just making my feeds and i make it every day and i always feel like a chef when i make my feeds I think it's just me because I'm a bit crazy like that. But yeah, it's where I put so many different things in. But yeah, this time does probably take me quite long though. But this is all time lapse. So yeah. So I'm just going up to feed the foals and that. So yeah, I've just got their feed buckets here. Dolly! Anna, come on! They are fucking Anyway, so I'll just slip it into one of the feed buckets. Come on! So they're both coming and I don't know if you can hear, but they're inane at me when they... Well, Dolly does. And she hears me for both of their names. And Anna does when I call her name. And that. And I've just got her other feed bucket. I need to collect the feed buckets, but yeah, they're probably going to move it across a bit. So here, where's less muddy? There you go. So here I am just putting the massage pad on and I am doing a video on the review of the massage pad and some other products. So, there is a pretty window, but um, just put the massage pad on just because it's a bit of a rough pitch. She's marking a bit, so... so so I thought I would just quickly jump on here by saying 
that Oreo did get three days off and she was stuck in a stable for three days so she did gallop off with me but we lived the tale of the tale. So here I am just grooming Jack. He was a little bit muddy because he did have his neck down in the field as it was quite warm and he, he is really shiny. Wish he was that shiny in real life though. But anyway I just gave him a nice quick pamper while he was eating his hayner and looking out his door. So yeah he really does love a good groom, so does Beauty. So yeah I think he really enjoyed this anyway. So, I've just brought Jack in and green him. We're not going around the woods today. So, um, I'm not too sure if I'm going to ride him today or tomorrow. Um, but I probably will do, if I ride him tomorrow instead of today, I'll probably do a little clip at the end of me because I might do bareback. I have to see, but yeah. So, here I am just feeding Jack his lovely food. And beauty here, sorry she's a bit scruffy here, but we deal with it, we live with it, you know. It's all cool. It's part of our daily routine anyway. So here's Oreo just eating her lovely food. And, that, and she does have a lick it to keep her entertained as she's in for much longer. And I do need to fill up her water, so here's just me filling up her water. So I'm just going to do Jack's hay and I've got it here, so let's just go inside. So then I did finish my night off with a little bounce bareback with Jack and he absolutely loved it and yeah he was quite fast so hope I see you next time so bye for now.